She was on her knees, pleading for forgiveness. Pleading? What is pleading? Her house loft was full of spiders. Loft? What is loft? I can't read this book. I don't know anything here. Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Giovanna and in today's video I'll teach you 15 advanced words in English. So if you want to sound more natural when speaking English and stop repeating the words again and again, watch this video until the end. You're gonna learn a lot of new words. And the first word is amateur. Amateur. The pronunciation a m a t u r amateur, 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 which means not professional. So you can say that your cousin is an amateur singer. It means that your cousin is a singer, but he's not professional. He's not a professional singer. My cousin is an amateur singer. And the second one is ambiguous, ambiguous. The pronunciation am, be, gu, us, ambiguous, which means open to more than one interpretation. For instance, you can say, he gave me an ambiguous answer. He gave me an ambiguous answer. which means he gave me an answer that is open to many uh, interpretations, many possible understandings. I can understand his answer in a way, in many other ways, actually. So it's open to more than one interpretation. Maybe I can understand it positively. Maybe I can understand it negatively. So it really depends. Ambiguous. The next one, Amiable, amiable, a m i a b l e amiable. An amiable person is a friendly person, this kind and friendly person. So, for instance, you can say he seemed such an amiable man. He seemed such an amiable man. And this one is bland. Blend. Yes, there is no secret to pronounce it. It's super simple. Blend. Blend. And something that is bland is something that has no taste. So, for example, you are at the restaurant and then you ordered some pasta and unfortunately your pasta is bland, which means, oh, it has no taste. You can't feel the taste and then you need to ask the waiter for some uh you know like spices spices are those kind of flavors that you put in your food such as oregano yes like chili and stuff that you uh, that you add to your food in order to um in order for your food not to be bland in order to be tasty yeah in order to be delicious so definitely something bland means that it's something that has no taste no taste i'm sorry but the pasta is bland i'm sorry but the pasta has no taste <laughs> the next chatty chatty the pronunciation is also simple so you can just say chatty 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 is an adjective used to describe people who like talking, people who like to talk a lot. So you can say they're chatty neighbors, which means they are neighbors who like talking a lot. They like to communicate. They like to talk about things, yeah? And you guys, tell me in the comments, are you a chatty person? Tell me in the comments. Particularly, I'm a chatty person, but it depends on the occasion. You know, it depends on the topic. Maybe if the topic interests me, I become a chatty girl. And you, are you a chatty person? The next one, elated. Elated. The pronunciation in syllables, elated. Elated. 
You guys can repeat after me to practice. Elated. 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 Elated means super happy, super excited about something. After the movie, I felt elated. So, it, which means that after the movie, I felt really happy. I felt extremely happy. The next one, filthy. Filthy. To pronounce it correctly, you just have to split it into two syllables. Filthy. 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 Yes, and then you bring them together. Filthy. 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 So the word filthy comes from the noun filth, which means dirt. And filthy is the adjective to describe something that is disgustingly dirty. Something that is really, really ridiculously dirty. So it's filthy. You can say, for example, wash your hands. Come on, wash your hands. They're filthy, which means they are extremely dirty, as you see in this picture. Do you guys remember the word loft from the beginning of the video? Let's recap. Her house loft was full of spiders. Loft. What is loft? I can't read this book. I don't know anything here. The pronunciation loft. Loft. Loft is the name we give to that space between the roof and the house. You know, there's kind of a space between the roof and the house and some people use this space to store stuff there, as you can see in the picture. For instance, you can say, my friend converted his loft into a bedroom. So this is so nice. Some people convert it. Some people just transform the loft into a house or maybe a bedroom. It's so good. And some, some people, they just prefer to store stuff there. That's, that's the loft actually. Then we have the word pretty, which I mentioned in the very beginning of this video when I gave you the context examples. So, pleading actually comes from the verb to plead, the pronunciation plead, and then we have pleading, pleading, which is the continuous form. So, to plead actually means to make an emotional appeal to beg for something. So you can say, then she was on her knees pleading for forgiveness. So emotional. I love this word, trustworthy. Trust, were, the. Trustworthy, yes, trustworthy. And I super recommend you to use this word in a job interview when you're talking about yourself because trustworthy is an adjective to describe some, someone that is reliable. So if you are a reliable person, if you want to talk about yourself, you know, when the interviewers, they just ask about you, about some qualities that you have. So you can say, oh, I, I'm a trustworthy person at work. So it means that you are fair, you are reliable. It's such a beautiful, advanced word trustworthy trustworthy i'm a trustworthy person so tell me about yourself i'm a trustworthy and multitasking person the next one scarce scarce to pronounce it correctly just go straight to the s sound like a snake you know scarce scarce Yes, scarce means not available in large amounts. Not available in large amounts or uh, insufficient. Something that is not enough, insufficient. So, for example, you can say, at the time, uh, food was becoming scarce. Food was becoming scarce, which means at the time, we were running out of food. So, food was becoming unavailable. Then we have the word warehouse. Warehouse, the pronunciation, where, house, warehouse. 
A warehouse is a large building used to store goods sold at a store. For example, you can say that you work at some store's warehouse. So the warehouse is a place where they put all the goods that they sell there. So it's just a warehouse. It's an advanced word to call this place and it's also super important. I work for Amazon's warehouse. I work for Amazon's warehouse, for example. Clogged, the pronunciation, clogged, clogged. If you follow me on my social media accounts, you probably know the meaning of clogged because recently I posted a video talking about a problem in the toilet. The toilet was clogged. And if you don't follow me on my social media, on my other social media accounts, please follow me. My usernames are here, English by Giovanna. You can follow me everywhere, wherever you prefer to, if you're uh, in your favorite social media accounts, because I post a short video every day for you to enhance your vocabulary. And now let's move on to the meaning of clogged. Clogged means actually blocked or filled with something, especially a clogged toilet. For example, you go to the bathroom and then you do your things there and then the toilet gets clogged. So if the toilet gets clogged, it means that the toilet is blocked. The toilet is filled with something there, all right? And then the water can't get in or out. So this is so disgusting. I know this is really disgusting. And usually to solve this problem, we use a plunger. So the pronunciation of this object is plunger. We use a plunger to solve the problem with uh, clogged toilets. So this thing, this object is called plunger. Plunger, that is another advanced word. And the last word is meticulous. Meticulous, meticulous. The pronunciation, meticulous meticulous. A meticulous person is a person who pays great attention to details. So you can say, my cousin is a meticulous boy. So it means that my cousin pays a lot of attention to details. He pays a lot of attention to simple things, small things, and unperceptible things in his daily routine. So that's it guys. I hope that you really liked this video. I hope that you learned a bunch of new advanced words in English to help you enhance your vocabulary and also to improve when writing an essay, when writing something in English and also while you're speaking English. Don't forget to follow me on other social media accounts and tell me in the comments which advanced word was the most difficult one for you in this video?